Hi, this is Dan from RealMax Software, and today we're going to look at how to build galleries in Rapid Weaver Elements. Now, I know I've been alluding to this for the last few weeks, and we're finally here, and I'm going to show off what we've been working on, and I think you're really going to like it. But before we jump into that, I want to look at Rapid Weaver Classic and see how you would currently build a gallery with Classic and Stacks. So I've got this little um, example site I've put together here. It's just a theme, just a placeholder for this uh, to work on this gallery. Now, when I asked on the forum, it seemed uh, that the Photo Pro seemed to come up quite a lot. Now this is from Weaver's Space. Um, it seems to be quite a popular stack. And now this stack costs $80. So that's, you know, the cost of Rapid Weaver. So it's pretty pricey um for a for a gallery i think so but let's go go ahead and i've added the base that we need which i think is all the css and javascript kind of the controller and then i've gone ahead and added the group uh which is for my album now i want six images because i've sorted out some photos here so what i can do is uh oops let's make that a bit smaller let's drop that one in there Ah, there, oh, there we are. We're not, and I'll drop that one in there, and that one. Oh, now we've got this mixed up there. It's the four. We'll drop that one in there. This is five, and we need one more. Oop, six. There we are. Right. So that, um, so that is our gallery. And then if I hit preview, it's uh, it's laid all our images out for us. Very nice. Okay. Um, I think we can lay, lay out, let's change these. We think we can do that. There we are. So I've got some uh, galleries there. And then uh, if I want another gallery, I'd obviously have to do the same again. And you know, if you've got a lot of images, this is quite cumbersome because now I have to go back over to here, uh, select the image, drop in one, because this is my England gallery now, two, three. You get the idea, this is pretty repetitive and um and cumbersome now i know this stack i know if you're familiar with this stack you're probably saying well it can um you can link it up to a server and do that kind of thing um but really uh this all gets pretty confusing quite quickly um and who wants to do that so we know there's a better way to do this um this is something we've solved in elements and I want to show you how much easier and how quickly you can kind of set up these galleries with what we've been working on. And we think there's so much potential here. It's kind of, it's, well, it's very exciting. So that was a quick look at how you might set it up currently. And, you know, this is a great solution and it's not to knock this solution because Rapid Weaver and Stacks, it's great. It's so flexible and, you know, it's been really great for the last 15 years um, but now we're kind of moving on and let's see how we handle this kind of stuff in elements so i'm going to close down these projects we don't need to save that let's quit and we'll close this and i'll get things set up in elements and then i will see you then all right so i've got elements open here and i'm going to open up my photography project now this is just a sample project i've put together for the um for this demo. So let's scroll down here and I've got some sections and we're gonna fill each of these in. But first, what we're gonna need is some resources. So I go to my resources window and I'm gonna take these from the finder and I'm just gonna drop them in. And just like that, Elements has added them all to my project. So they're all there ready to be used. Now, the first thing I wanna do is add some client logos. Cause you can imagine uh, being a world famous photographer, you might have worked for a lot of blue chip clients. So I'm gonna go over here and um, we're gonna add an image grid because it's gonna be a grid of logos. Now, do remember these elements are still in development. So these are not the finished product. They are just a work in progress, a prototype, to show off the power of elements. Now, let's go over to my images and we wanna drop some logos in here. Now, rather than having to add individual items, 
what we can do is we can take this folder I've got here of SVGs and I can just drop them here and Elements knows what to do with them. It's just, it's taken all those images and it's laid them out. And I can obviously change the layout of these uh, and we can adjust the spacing and I can adjust the size and we'll adjust the spacing a bit more there. And you can see this is using uh, the color. We can make these any color we wanted. Um, and I can just pick these here and I can change the opacity there. Um, but let's go for a dark color and we'll make these slightly off and let's up the size a bit more. And maybe we'll adjust the spacing. So as simple as that, I now have a, a list of clients that I've done work for. And it's super easy to update these. I can drop in new ones and this will refresh um, on the fly. But let's move on and um, let's take a look at uh, some image cards. This is another type of element we have here. Um, so I'm going to drop in this expanding cards element. And again, this is a work in progress. So do remember that. Um, so I've got my element highlighted. And again, we can just take one of these folders and drop it in and Elements knows what to do. So I drop that in there and you'll see when I roll over them, they expand, but they've also got metadata. And this is pulling the metadata from the actual images. So I can just hover over these and there you can see it's, it works like magic. Now, I don't need to worry about adding new elements or anything like that. You know, if I've got another gallery with more images, what I can do is I can just drop that on and it will recalibrate and it's done exactly the right thing. And now there's a, um, these cards with uh, eight items in them and I can drop, let's drop that one in there. And just like that, it's done it instantly for us. And this is doing it in, in edit mode. You know, we're not even in preview here. We're seeing what the gallery looks like in uh, as it would do when you preview it. And Elements is also scaling these images and preparing them specifically for this element type. So you don't need to worry if you've got large images, Elements will scale them down and handle all that for you. Um, so there, so that is, uh, so those are image cards and that's just a fun look at how powerful this is and it's great to pull in the, uh, this metadata. And you might be wondering, yeah, well, that's great, but how do I rearrange those? Because you've just taken that image and you, the uh, folder and you've just thrown it in there and, um, and that's the order they're in. Well, to rearrange them, we can just take an image and move it up here. And you'll notice it just re reshuffles itself and, and redoes the layout. So if I put that up the top there, you can see it's moved it to the first image. So um, what we've built into here, we've also got um, quick look. So if I wanna see what these images are, I can press space. And that gives me a quick way to see, you know, see exactly which image I might want uh, where. So I can just then put that at the front and there it is. Now, there is also another way uh, we've added to look at these image, images and update them. If I right click here, um, I can show info on the image. And this gives me a little inspector here. So uh, if I click on something with some more metadata, you can see here, uh, this is telling me all about this image. Um, it's giving me the file name, the caption, the author, and uh, all the ISO and aperture and things to do with the camera. Now, an element could pull all these options out. So these are available to the elements here. We haven't built all of this into the elements we have here, but um, we certainly could because the data is available and there, so that's, options we might build in in the future um, as we get further down the line. But you can see here and I can, um, I can scroll through these images and it gives me, you know, if they've got metadata, it will show, the, show me the metadata. So this is really handy. And you can obviously update the caption and update the author there and that all updates on the fly. So uh, what else have we got? Let's have a look. Let's drop in a standard gallery. So we've done our image cards 
and we've got our gallery. And again, we're gonna need some resources. So what I can do here, let's drop in England. And um, uh, we don't want purple there. Let's, uh, let's change that little, uh, that grad there. And the text color we want is white. So uh, we, and we can adjust these things here. You know, this is, this is kind of fun. That's nice. Um, so I just dropped in my England uh, folder and it's created this for me and it's given me these little arrows. And um, what I can do is if I go, uh, I'm gonna click over to preview. And now I can see here, this has given me a nice uh, little gallery and I can click through and see these images. Um, so I can scroll through these and, uh, and that shows off uh, my images nicely there. Now, you might be thinking that's great, you can drop in these images, but you know, um, what if I have, uh, what if I have, want to do multiple galleries, you know, because I've, I've got this over here. So I've got this gallery and I've got England, America and Japan. And you know, how would, how would elements handle that? If you've got subfolders, what would happen then? Uh, so what I can do is I can take this gallery and if I just drop it over here with all these subfolders, it's created me uh, three separate galleries for each folder there. So I've got England, America and Japan and Elements taken all of those and it's resized them and created these three galleries for me, all those sub galleries. And, um, Again, you know, if I didn't want this image on the top, what I can do, I can just drag that one up there and now that's at the top and uh, maybe I want this one at the top. And so you can see working with galleries like this is, uh, it's just, it's mind blowingly fast. And if we go over to preview and if I scroll down here, you can see, and I can click on this one and, um, and there's my gallery. And you see it's got the uh, title and the description there. Uh, sorry, the uh, title and the author on those images, just uh, like that. And there's the American gallery, you know, and I can scroll through that and that's great. And we'll close that. And the same with my Japan gallery. I can scroll through that, very nice. And you know, that, I could do that with hundreds of images and loads of galleries. And it's just, it's as simple as just dropping in a folder and it's absolutely mind blowing. And this is um, really just scratching the surface of the power of elements. Uh, the way we've built this on the back end and all the effort we're putting in here to make things like this at work absolutely seamlessly. Um, I've never seen anything as, uh, that can build galleries just as good as this, you know, as well as, as well as building an entire site. Um, I think even a lot of the online builders do not work like this and having it all in a native Mac app is ab an absolute joy to use. Um, I know that's, you know, that's why a lot of you use Rapid Weaver because you want a native app. And I know I certainly do. And um, to, to be able to, you know, just drag these things around and have, have that really native Mac experience is, um, is, is just really wonderful. And this really is just scratching the surface of, of what, we're, what we're gonna be able to do with Elements. Um, so uh, let's have a look now. So I've also got this image grid and what I thought might be fun, because uh, we've used the image grid here before, uh, what I could do, let's, um, Let's uh, drop another one of those in. And what I've got, I've got a hundred photos here. This is a hundred photos in this one. And let's just drop that on. And we'll adjust the layout. And we want the items to wrap. And we want them in the center. And just like that, I've got a hundred images in my, uh, in my site. And I can adjust the item spacing there. And they'll just reflow. And maybe we'll make the site a bit bigger there. And that's a hundred images and Elements has just handled that. And you can really see the power here of, uh, of Elements. I mean, this is, this is truly phenomenal. 
Um, and this really is just the beginning. So I hope that's given you a good idea about where, we're, again, where we're heading with elements, all these innovations we're making um, to just really push elements forward as a way to build websites that you just couldn't do before. It just wasn't there. So yeah, so I'm gonna wrap up this video because I have rambled on long enough, but I hope you really like what you see here and um, you can see the potential in what we're building. So, all right, that is galleries in uh, Rapid Weaver Elements. And uh, yeah, and I will see you next week for another video. All right, have a good week and I will see you then. Thanks a lot, bye.